All right. Thank you guys for assembling here this, this morning. Prioritizing public safety and health, our top priority is ensuring the safety and well-being of our entire community. We're working closely with emergency services and local partners to monitor the situation to provide safe drinking water alternatives until normal services are restored. Ongoing restoration efforts, trash and debris caused by Hurricane Helene has blocked our ability to pump water. Our teams have been working around the clock to repair our infrastructure. We're taking all the necessary steps to restore water services as quickly and as uh, efficiently as possible. While repairs are underway, we're working to establish temporary water distribution sites throughout our community. We will continue to provide real-time updates hourly on our official website, social media channels, to all local news outlets. Please follow these channels with the latest information and for restoration uh, progress as to how we get our water system back online. I'm now turning it over to our Utilities Director, Wes Bine, just to provide an update, then our EMA Chief, Burden. Thank you. So we worked to um, try to bring the water, the raw water pumping station at the canal um, to get it operational and to pump raw water to the water plants. Um, we've had issues with the power outages and then the real driver here was the amount of trash and debris and aquatic vegetation in the canal. Um, we used the water power to pump our raw water to our plant. Um, it was uh, it, so much debris in the water, we could not keep up with keeping it clean and the pumps kept shutting off. We brought, an emerg not, we brought our backup diesel online um, and it um, unfortunately had an issue with the cooling and we brought an emergency mechanic in yesterday. He worked on it for many hours and was unable to get it operating full time. Um, that's the situation we're in now, unfortunately. Um, the plant um, can produce more water we could pump to it as of yesterday. So um, we will give an update on the status at that point. So good morning. Our priority is your safety. We're working closely with the fire department to ensure that water is available for fire engines during this critical time. Even with damage to our infrastructure, we're making sure that there is enough water supply for firefighting needs. We're working closely with our state, local, and federal partners. Our crews are working around the clock to repair the damage and maintain water for emergency services. We're also setting up temporary water sources to support response for full, until full service is restored. Please follow us on our website and social media for the latest of water restoration and fire safety. We're committed to keeping our community safe and prepared as we get through this, this crucial time. Guys, I don't mind taking a couple of questions. We don't have much to add, but I... Okay. So just from yesterday to today, just kind of, just so I understand correctly, the, um, you're pumping more water than you can get out, and there's a lot of debris, you just can't clean it all. Can't keep it clean fast enough mm -hmm. to meet our demand. That is correct. And how long, I know, I think, I read the press release literally briefly before we started. 24 to 48 hours is what we're looking at. 24 to 48 hours before we are back to full capacity. Okay. That's all. Okay. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. More updates to come. Thank you.